sorcerer. Dallas, get her! You're dead, Alexander. Alexander, you're dead. You have to stay dead until we say you're not dead anymore. Here, mister. Alexander doesn't have to stay dead, does he? See? Told ya. But don't worry, I'll revenge your death. Take that, sorcerer. You won't put a sauce collar on me, Dallas. I'm a big, bad, evil sorcerer and I'll kill you dead. I hate this game. I'm Alexander the Bishop. I'll bish you good. Alexander, you're dead. <laughs> Hackles raised, the dog barks at the sand built up beneath the building. You're nice, and I'm a good dog. Yes, I am. There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. You be careful now. What's under there smells real bad. It smells evil. Here and ransack my business. You've been warned, Barnes. Now Finish get out of my sight. The, the Magister turns and his eyes fall on you. You! Have you seen anyone leaving this place? Grey cloak, grey beard, a satchel of books under one arm. Hmm? You can't have missed him. Whether the chef or Dallas herself are guilty, my orders are to search this factory. Lucian's teeth. Where is that runt hiding? If you see anything suspicious, anything at all, report it immediately. Do you understand? He's a sorcerer, dressed as a tinkerer. Our brothers started vanishing as soon as the tramp arrived in town. He fled into this stinking shed, but we'll find him again. We'll have our justice. A flicker of pain appears on the Magister's face before he regains his composure. I knew those Magisters for years, trained with them. We've saved each other's lives more than once. They're family. Now, I've got a coward to catch. Excuse me. Still no sign. I'll flush the rat out wherever he's hiding. He won't get another one of my brothers. So report. Did you find anything? Lucian's tick. If you see anything suspicious, then we can get them out and you can get back to work. Fasten tight. The dwarf peers at an expertly dissected fish, gently poking its innards with his knife. Fascinating. Most fascinating. Mm. Oh, my. I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? I'm gutting fish. What else? Nothing wrong with taking pride in your work. The dwarf grimaces and points the tip of his knife at his handiwork. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for a lot of folk. I want to figure out what's happening to them, see if there's anything that can be done. I didn't always work here, stranger. We dwarfs aren't all burps and brawls as much as your kind seems to think we are. Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand, if you understand me. No, I can't eat the fish. I need to properly observe its effects. 
and I can't do that if I'm, well, if I'm indisposed. Well, on your way then. I need to concentrate here. The dog sniffs the wooden decking, like there's something wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong, and it's not right. I don't know, but there's something wrong, and it's underneath the floor. Be careful down there, mister. You're not smelling what I'm smelling. Behind the containers, the fish in one of the barrels shifts slightly. Please, you have to help me. The magisters have gone mad. I'm a salesman. I tinker. I fix things. I wonder. I buy and sell books when I can. I, I, I had nothing to do with those magisters vanishing. Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want them to take me. I have no idea. I only arrived in town a few days ago. I sold a few items to Grandmaster Ken in Ox and stopped off here on my way to Sarsil. I was just sitting in the tavern, minding my own business, and the Magister started screaming at me. I ran and, well... You hear a quiet sob from the fish. What is this happening? I didn't do anything. There's a moment of silence from within the barrel. Some of the fish seem to shift uncomfortably. I, I may have been studying some new scrolls I bought. They might have been, well, they called for sauce. But that doesn't mean I had anything to do with the disappearances. I'm a tinkerer. I'll fix things for a living. I would never hurt anyone. I just need to get out of driftwood. I can't risk being seen. But if you can get out of town, I can escape to Ox. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't let them see me. Don't let them find me. What news? Sure, I die in that wretched place. You have my thanks. If not for you, I probably would have been found, gutted, and salted. I can't 
to saunter away. Who knows what might be lurking in a place like this? But once I'm sure the way's clear, I'm running to Ox like a cat with its tail on fire. I'm done with this stinking town. Please, I can't just let you walk away. Here, take this scroll as a gift. A damp, scale-covered roll of paper emerges from the barrel. In fact, that's what started all the trouble in the first place. The Magisters nearly lost their minds when they saw me with it. In the kitchens of the tavern, of all places. But that cook had it. Offered it for a great price, too. I thought she was an idiot selling it so cheap. Then again, I'm the dolt who ended up in a barrel. But if she has Magister artefacts, she must be the one they're looking for. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm not much of a sorcerer, but I have my connections. Hanang's a pretty powerful source master. Incredible control of portals. I've never seen anyone bend space like she can. Last I heard, she was holed up in a house out in Paradise Downs, the farms to the north. There's more than a few magisters around those parts, though. She might still be there. Might not. But I pity any red cloak that gets on her bad side. I swear, once I get to Ox, I'm going to have the bath of my life. Here, somewhere. I know it, tell me. Have you anything to report? The chef. That little slip of an elf killed Magisters. Hmm. What do you mean he escaped? Every inch of this factory was being watched. It seems we underestimated the cur. Very well. Thank you for your efforts, fruitless as they were. You see a man, well-fed and wealthy, but stress has lined his face and narrowed his waist. He tries to ignore your presence, fails. He sighs. See here. I'm very busy. The factory is crawling with magisters, and our shipments to Arks are held up. Time is money. Don't waste my money. What do you want? Fish. This is a fish factory. I'm shipping fish to Arks. Now, please, there's the door. I suggest you use it. When you've been in business as long as I have, you learn that there's a market for everything. You just have to find it, or... A dark shadow passes across his face. Sometimes it finds you. That's privileged information. I have a trade to protect. An excellent point. Well made. The answer to your question is, unsurprisingly, a man in a house. A man in the house buys all the void-tainted fish I can send him. That dark shadow crosses his face once more. He shivers. Not that I've ever met the man. Not sure I want to, if I'm honest. Absolutely not. I don't give away sensitive information like that to anyone who just asks for it. And I don't keep it lying around, neither. That really is enough now. I'm asking you to leave. Good day.
Careful now. That's a trap. Stands out from the others. It's sealed and marked with a cross. Something about it seems familiar. One barrel of fish stands out from the others. Lucky find. One barrel of fish stands out from the... One barrel of fish... Dripping with liquid sauce, this barrel is sealed and marked with a cross. From the barrel you sense a familiar power. It thrums in your bones, in your soul. Nothing stirs in the dank and stinking basement, and yet you feel an imminent presence. Inside, you find not fish, but weapons. Powerful weapons, the kind of weapons the Magisters took from the hollow marshes.
bastard. Things under the sand are dead, I think. But you, you smell funny. You smell of bad things. Maybe you killed the bad things, or maybe you are a bad thing. Go away, bad thing. She crouches and growls low. The dwarf is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. What do you want? The dwarf unfolds her arms and shoots to her feet. All right, human. Well, that glad Lohar ain't left us here to wither. Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. I gotta send word soon. Who knows? Anything that gives away what Mordus has been up to. Probably got all sorts of tricks for covering his tracks, but the goons downstairs should sniff out something. That weird priest has been hanging around Loha for ages. Now he's vanished. Those half-wits below will know more. Get to it then. But tell the lunkheads that Glen has sent you before they bash your brains in. What's this? I found something. Well, if we can't get ourselves out of here, it won't matter either way, eh? There we go. Finally. The door's opening. By Duna's dagger. You here to free us or kill us? The male dwarf expels two lungfuls of air and glances happily at his companion. We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That snot-nosed priest's as slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Ain't found nothing that lets on what Mordus is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get us stuck. And if there's another door out there, never could find it. Lohar ain't gonna be pleased. Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny not so long ago, then flew the coop. Well, at first... He was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Then some stranger tried taking old Lohar down, but got himself caught and tied up. 
Ain't no coincidence Mordis went hanging around then. She taps her finger against her forehead. A woman knows things. Nothing's getting past me. Best we head off then. We've got business to attend to. I've spotted something. That's my skull. It's missing an eye. As far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre. A skull? It's missing an eye. As far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre. Get unstuck. Lohar will want to know of this. The shrine depicts Duna, yet has clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface its exterior, and its eyes have been gouged hollow. You run your hands along the exterior until your fingers graze the button noted in the schematic. There's no mistaking the sound of stone chafing stone. The entrance to the chamber grinds open, filling your lungs with slightly less stale air. This shrine to Duna may have been quite beautiful before it was so horrible. The stone is cold against your palm. It, there's no mistake. The cat stares up at you. Its midnight black pupils are too prominent for you to discern the color of its glazed eyes. Eight lives already gone, but I'd gladly lose the last if you can throw me a fish. One of those smelly kind. But I need them. So yummy. They taste like Shadows and spoiled cream and turn the air dark. Oh, it feels so beautiful against my fur, like being caressed by black cotton. The cat eats the fish in a few seconds' time, then looks up at you and gives a groggy meow. Maybe I should stick to the good stuff for a while, but I'll miss the shadow. He pokes his nose at your map, leaving a wet spot. I think you'll find something interesting there. Found me some goodies during life number six. Now, if you don't mind, I need a bit of me time. Who 
Well, ain't you a tall drink of tallness? What can I do for you, honey? She fluffs them and coos. You're so very, very sweet to notice, honey. Ain't easy keeping him so nice in a dusty town like this. But I do take pride in him. Sure, why not? Not all of them hatch, you know. And between you and me, honey, I don't mind the taste of an omelette now and again. Go on and scoot then, honey. Better get out there before Maldus makes it all the way past Arx. I asked you for a man, not a note. He takes the letter from your hands and reads it quickly, face hardening with anger as he reaches the end. Bloody God's damn spit-sucking weasel! This is bad. Not just for me and mine. Not just for you and yours. This is bad. For everyone. Hell if I know, but it don't sound good. Seems as though Mordus wasn't mine after all. Trouble is, I don't know whose he is. Of course. That's why I haven't heard from the cave. Sabotage. Listen up, I need your help. We all do. Mordus has his hands on something dangerous. Something I was trying to protect us from. Not just my folks. The whole damn realm. Look, me and mine, we move classified cargo. Take it right off Magister ships and put it into the hands of those that will use it rightly. Trouble is, we came across something no one ought to have. Not the Magisters, not my folks, not the gods themselves. I ordered it to be destroyed. I guess Mordus, whoever he's working for, wants it for themselves. That can't happen. The less you know, the better. Trust me. Stop Mordus and I'll take care of the rest. My people had an operation up in the caves outside town. Good access to red ships and plenty of privacy too. I haven't heard from them in a couple of days now. I thought maybe we'd lost the messengers to Voidwoken in the hills, but now I think it's worse than I thought. I bet my lucky left foot Mordus is in the cave. You've got to get to him before he gets his hands on that cargo. Pray to whoever you pray to that it ain't too late. Finally, someone with a little sense around here. Give me your map. I'll show you where we were operating, where I think Mordus will be. I don't want to know what'll happen if he gets what he's after. <laughs> 